what about the fact that Neymar didn't take one of the first? Um, what was it? Was he down for fifth in the yes, penalty the last shootout? One, yeah. yeah, the last one for Brazil. Mm. Um, get your thoughts on that first, Alex. But then maybe Cass, get your thoughts on it as well because you've been involved in penalty shootouts. And but uh, Alex, were you surprised that Neymar wasn't one of the first up for Brazil? I was. Um, th- th- there are two ways of looking at this. Apparently, statistically, uh, the, the, the fifth penalty in a shootout more often than not is decisive in terms of it's, it's the one that is missed more often because obviously if it gets that far, then it's really a pressure penalty because you're already into sudden death. Mm. My thought at the time was that Neymar's ego uh, wouldn't let him go any earlier than fifth. He wanted the, the glory goal. He wanted to score the, the penalty that would decide it. We've seen it for Cristiano Ronaldo in the past as well for Portugal. And if you flip it around and you look at the Argentina game last night, Lionel Messi put himself up first, yeah. cool penalty, a nerve settler, gets his team into the shootout. For me, Neymar should have been right at the top of the rostrum. Cass, what's your thinking of a penalty shootout and uh, and the lineup that you have? You know, should it be a, at least a talisman like a Neymar going first that then sets the tone, hopefully, for everybody else? Or is that thinking of sometimes that fifth penalty actually is the key one, it's the deciding one, it can be the winning mm. one? No, mine is top heavy. Yeah. You've got to go at the early part of the penalties and put pressure on the opposition. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, you're, if you've are if you scored and the next one's taken it up and there's even more pressure on them, so you want your best penalty takers. I, I don't understand that. That yeah. to me is, you know, there is a number of times, if you want to work it out, you know, just use the maths and go, well, a number of times a fifth penalty taker is not going to be needed because that happens quite often. And that was the case. Mm. So... Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, after that uh, result, Tite, the, the manager of, well, the head coach of Brazil, has, has stood down, which, again, not surprising. We're seeing a lot of head coaches step away from their roles uh, after their elimination from, from the tournament. Um, as you mentioned there, so it is Croatia against Argentina in the, in the semi finals, Alex. Um, from what you've seen, can Croatia do it again? Can they reach the final? Because. They're a team that don't wow you, do they? But they just know how to get the job done. Yeah, they're streetwise. And uh, obviously, they've been around the block. They, they know what it takes to get to, to latter stages and to World Cup finals. Uh, I, I guess the, the issue of fatigue could be a problem because in the previous round uh, against Japan, they had the oldest average starting eleven of any team in a World Cup knockout game since France back in 2008. So I think that is an issue. The, the ability to refresh the squad isn't really there. What you see is what you get. But again, Argentina, for all their quality, and I think actually Messi out of the old stages has probably had the best World Cup. I, I really like uh, Alvarez and, and Enzo Fernandez. They're not blowing teams away. You know, they, they obviously allowed the Netherlands to get back in at 2 0 up last night. They had a bit of a scare against Australia in the previous round, having gone 2 0 up and conceded a late goal. So I, I think this is going to be a, a nail biter. If it goes to penalties, I mean, You've got Livakovic at one end, who's had a brilliant tournament in that respect. You've got Emmy Martinez, who rates himself as, as one of the best penalty savers in world football. So I really think this is this is too tight to call. I'm disappointed in one respect that we are robbed of what would have been a brilliant semi-final between Brazil and Argentina, repeat the Copa America. Mm. Both those nations very well supported. I, I think Brazil going out is a loss for the competition because European teams mm. over here just haven't got the volume of supporters that those mm. from the likes of South America and from Asia have. So from a from an atmosphere perspective, I think it's disappointing. Mm. 